Hey guys, LT Tutorials here, or LT Rocketry, uh, depending on what channel you're watching on. And today I'm going to show you how to make a model rocket igniter. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just going to walk over what this is made out of, like what materials you need. Um, the wire, um, doesn't really matter what kind of wire you have, it just needs to be around, uh, maybe if you have Lego, uh, around that size. Uh, like that. Uh, the wire, in case you just happen to have one, is made out of an old, uh, uh, lunch controller wire that broke. So you can use that. The cardboard, right here, is, uh, basically I just took a cardboard box, like right here, and I cut the top layer of it off, and that is what it, uh, that's made out of. That's, uh, double sided. And then the very top, if my camera focuses, you'll see a tiny wire bridging the two together. That is 40 gauge nichrome wire. So you also need that. So let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need two lengths of wire around uh, this long, just for show. You can like a piece again. Probably around the size of your black reflector use so the kind of wire i have is braided together basically you just want to uh, take it and roll it in your fingers to twist it around and uh you'll need two of those i don't know if i already said that uh you don't need to leave the insulation on i just do for that part just to keep it uh it from getting that hot not that it gets that hot anyway so Whatever. I also should say, just do not, uh, you want to string together around half of the top part and leave the half of it untwisted. Okay, next you want to take a, um, the piece of the cardboard, like I told you earlier, make sure you have two pieces of it, and put the wires, uh, on there as shown, and you want to put a dab of glue right here, here, and here. And then glue the other side down, and I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, after that, you want to cut a strand of the nichrome wire. As you can see right there, that's about an inch of it. And, um, you want to stick a strand of it through the unbraided part of the wire, and then twist the, uh, part of the wire up here around the nichrome wire so it stays in place. And do that with both sides, trying to get the bridge wire between the two as small as possible. But you do want it big enough to, uh, you can touch it to the propellant without the two touching it. So, I'll get back to you when I'm done with that, and by then the igniter should be done. Okay, so I'm done bridging the two wires together. Uh, after you're done with this, you want to check for the continuity of the two wires. To do this, just hook up your two alligator clips and your launch controller and push down on this key. If the red light comes on, your igniter should be done. I'm not going to test it just because I want to use it on a rocket. So, uh, if your light does not come on, you want to go ahead and make sure that the wire is touching both wires. I should go ahead and say it does not matter if you have different types of wires for both uh, and they can both be silver, or copper, or whatever. And um, if you go back and check that they're both touching and they still won't light up, uh, it might be the kind of wire you're using that's not conducted with nichrome wire or something like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. Goodbye.